Hi, I'm Gaz, and I'm on a mission to train martial arts in every country in the world. In this video, we're exploring the Muay Thai scene in Bangkok around the popular Koh Sam Road area. Watch along for an unforgettable, authentic Muay Thai experience, as well as an epic fail. Okay, hello everybody and welcome to Bangkok. So I actually arrived two days ago, but I got a horrific 15 hour night bus from Krabi. So yesterday was a write off, but I'm staying on Koh San Road, which is a popular backpacking slash tourist destination. And in this video, I'm gonna check out the Muay Thai gyms close to this area. So the first gym that I've got a private session booked at today is called Song Murakat Gym. And it's about 20 minute walk from here. So let's go and check it out. So this gym has to be in the coolest location I've trained in Thailand so far. So look, I'm in the gym now and here's the temple. So yeah, it's actually within the temple grounds, which is pretty awesome. The private class at Sang Murakot gym cost me 1,000 baht for an hour session. The class started with 10 minutes of skipping in the blistering Bangkok heat. This was followed by some shadow boxing and drills with my coach. Uh, so 10, two, one, two. After the shadow boxing, it was time to wrap up the gloves. So we've just finished three four minute pad rounds. I'm absolutely fucked. The heat in Bangkok, like, like I just said, is so sticky. There's a little bit of a language barrier here, but honestly, it's really, really authentic Muay Thai Jim in Bangkok. I'm so glad I came. After being beasted for four rounds of Muay Thai, it was nice to spend the remainder of the pad work on the focus mitts. I've just finished five rounds of pad work, which consisted of three rounds of Muay Thai and two rounds of boxing. God, ah, crazy session. I think that night bus took it out of me. After smashing out some ab work in a swimming pool of my own sweat, I jumped on the bag for the last 10 minutes of the session. This is possibly the best bag work I've ever done and not because of my technique. The serene sounds from the temple were echoing in the background and I was soaking up pure vibes and loving life. Just finished training at Sang Murakot Gym and I definitely recommend visiting for two reasons. The first is obviously the training itself it was absolutely awesome. There was a little bit of a language barrier and it's clear that it's a proper Muay Thai gym in the heart of Bangkok. They've got fighters fighting at Thai Fight this evening and at the main stadiums in Bangkok all of the time. And the second reason to visit is that the gym's actually located in a temple called Wat Sitaram and today it's a religious holiday. So I was smashing the pads and hitting the bag and I can hear the monks chanting and people praying and it was just a really, really awesome Muay Thai experience in Bangkok. So I'm gonna go home now, have something to eat, get showered, recover, and then we're gonna go and explore Lord Bangkok today. Saudi Cup. First thing on today's sightseeing agenda in Bangkok is the famous Lumpini Park. There's so much to do here, so we're gonna go and check it out for the next hour or so. Lumpini Park is famous for the hundreds of monitor lizards that roam around. They're literally everywhere. I spent the next hour roaming around the park before jumping on the lake for a free boat ride. So obviously I wasn't the only one with the idea of getting a pedlo at Lumpini Park. 
there's a massive queue that have been in for about 10 minutes or so. It does seem to be moving, but, but obviously it's really popular for both tourists and locals as well. So forward right. I'm in swan number eight. Looks like it's actually free, which is very unheard of for Thailand or Bangkok. And then we're going to find a good spot to feed the fish. There's no fish here. Overall, Limpini Park is a vibe. As this was my last day to explore Bangkok, I decided to head back out in the evening to the bustling Chinatown. This has to be one of the busiest streets in the world. There's hundreds of food stores to pick from, ranging from Mission and Star to cheap Thai street food. We've walked past it a couple of times, it looks absolutely booming, and I'm gonna get some essentially Chinese duck and noodles. It, it smells like delicious orange duck, and yeah, I'm looking forward to it. First things first, I don't know if somebody's forgotten half of my portion, but <laughs> I'm joking. Yeah, it looks proper, oh, it's like proper crispy duck. Crispy on the outside, soft in the middle, like an orange soy sauce glaze, a bit of ginger in there. Mwah. Just spent the last hour essentially wading through people in Chinatown and grabbing some bits of food along the way. So I would highly recommend checking out Chinatown. Anyway, gonna go back to the hotel now, rest up for tomorrow's Muay Thai session, and I'll catch up with you in the morning. Okay, so good morning. I'm having a bit of a nightmare as there's two versions of this gym. One of them's half a kilometer away from a hotel and the other one, which I happen to book, is 10 miles from a hotel. So I'm jumping in a taxi now, but very stressful. So after a stressful half an hour taxi ride, I absolutely hate being late. It gives me anxiety. I've actually arrived here 10 minutes early, so I'm gonna go and grab some water, find the gym and hopefully turn this morning around and have some really good Muay Thai training. Found it, found it. I booked a private class at Gerentong Gym for a thousand baht, which is part of a popular chain. After my authentic Muay Thai class yesterday, I was a bit apprehensive about rocking up at a fitness gym. Made it here, the gym's right in the middle of the city and it's in a fitness gym on the top floor. But yeah, paid for the class at the front desk and now excited to get stuck in. The class started with the usual skipping, stretching and shallow boxing. We then jumped into the pad work. As soon as this started, my apprehension about the class was lifted as my instructor was awesome. He pushed me hard throughout the pad work, but would still pause throughout the rounds to correct my technique. So far, training's really good. Started off with some stretching, some shadow boxing, and now we're just smashing the pads. So yeah, having a great time and worth the visit, to be honest, in the end. All together, we've done five rounds before moving on to some bag work and fitness drills to finish the class. So another fantastic session in Bangkok. There was obviously a little bit of a language barrier, but what do you expect when you're right in the heart of the city in the middle of Bangkok? Really good training. And yeah, we definitely, definitely, definitely recommend visiting. Not quite as traditional as yesterday's Muay Thai gym. And I imagine they don't get that many tourists that stop through. But like I always say, you know, 99.9% .9 of the training that you're gonna get in Thailand is gonna be better from back home. My trainer's had loads of fights. He was showing me pictures of his fights and his belts and stuff. So yeah, really enjoyed it. And we definitely recommend if you're in the area, probably not worth visiting from Koh Sam Rose. Really quick review of training for the last couple of days. Yesterday was awesome. Felt like I was in a proper authentic Muay Thai gym with great training. And then today, slightly less authentic above a fitness gym, but still learned a lot and had a really good time. So yeah, I've enjoyed exploring Bangkok and checking out some of the Muay Thai gyms here. If you're new here, make sure you like and subscribe and come back for next week's martial arts video.